Shalom. All praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rachak Wadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the hopeful elect Akim that are teaching this word. Shalom Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rachak Wadash. And as you can see here, it says Bordeaux City Hall set on fire amid protests over France pension changes. So I'm going to play a clip here um, from The Guardian. But, you know, as you can see, people are pretty much, you know, they're, they're mourning. They're upset on the earth, all right, at the the governments of Esau, man. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to play this, how Esau governs the world, man. They're in a state of mourning. So I want to just read this first comment here as well. It says, this is not just about the pension. It's also about the economy, the super high inflation that is impacting the poor and the middle class the most. All right. So, you know, because they, what the news is saying is it's about the, um, the uh, pension age being raised up. But, you know, as you can see, someone here put, it's also about the economy, the super high inflation that is impacting the poor and the middle class. So, the world is an uproar, man. We've been seeing these things over the years, all right? You know, inflation, cost of living is going to get too high. You know, because we know why they're doing all this, you know, ultimately is because they're going to bring, you know, the MOTB, all right? But before they do that, you know, they're going to put the squeeze on the people on the earth, all right? And people are going to protest, people are going to riot, vandalize things. It's all a massive um, plan. So then they can then what? Bring out that MOTB, man. But this just shows you that, you know, Esau, the so-called white man's the wicked, man, because even his own his own citizens are uprising and are upset with the way they ru they're ruling, man. All right? So I'm going to read this here. This is Proverbs 29 and 2. It says, When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked beareth rule, the people mourn. All right? And that's what's happening now. All right, the wicked are bearing rule in the earth, right? You can't, you definitely, you can't, you definitely can't say that the the righteous are in authority because if the righteous, which are the Israelites, you know, were in authority, you know, Yahweh Shai would be here, the Savior would be here. All right, Yahweh Shai would be here, you know, King David would be ruling. All right, there'll be a righteous government on the earth, man. In fact, the scriptures tell you in Isaiah. When Yahweh Shai returns, you know, in the kingdom, King David will be on his throne, all right? There'll be no more war on the earth. The earth will be at peace, all right? So we definitely know that, you know, as it stands, we're not, we're not, um, the righteous ain't in the authority seat because, you know, there's no peace here, man. There's no peace here, man. Everyone's mourning. So when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked birth rule, the people mourn. Yeah, and everyone right now is mourning because... The wicked are in the government, man. These so-called white people, these Edomites that are ruling in their in the rulership seats, man. They've basically got the squeeze on the planet, man. They've got their foot on all of our necks, man. It's like the movie Elysium. In the movie Elysium, everyone was at the bottom starving, you know, scavenging. While the elites had the best hospitals. They had the best of everything in, in Elysium, in space, basically. You know, it's like what's going on on the planet now, man. They've got the best of everything while we're all starving, all right? Inflation, foods, foods skyrocketing to pay for food. You know, rent is hard to um, come, rent, your, cover your rent, covering your rent is hard. You know, everyone's living in these box apartments. So we know the, the wicked are bearing rule, man. And we're mourning. The, everyone's mourning, man. Okay? The earth is mourning, man. The people are mourning. Ecclesiasticus 10 and 8. It says, because of unrighteous dealings, 
injuries and riches got by deceit. The kingdom is translated from one people to another. And that's why the, our Lord Yahawashai, he's going to translate the kingdom from the hands of Edom, Esau Edom, into the hands of Israel, right? Into the hands of um, so-called Negro, Latino, Native American folks, all right? Beginning with Yahawashai, all right? And King David, that's who's going to reign, all right? The kingdom's going to be translated back to the children of Israel, man. Why? Re look at what it says. It says, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. And that's how these devils have got everything, man. R and their riches is gotten by deceit, fraud, corruption, um, you know, thievery, drug dealing, murder. All right. That's how they've gotten everything. All right. Their riches have been gained by deceit. Deceitful gains is how these devils have attained everything, all right? Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries and riches got by deceit. And injuries, man, they've injured our people. These Edomites, they've injured our people, man. All right, they injured us physically. They've injured us mentally. They've injured us till this day, you know, they keep us in a perpetual wounded state, all right, where we can never heal ourselves. Our people will never be healed in this world. Right, there's no amount of fucking therapy you can have. There's no amount of whatever it is our people try to do to get. There's no amount of money. These devils have, have kept us in a perpetual injured state, all right? Which is really Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashemi, Yahweh Shai. But he uses Esau to do it. And Esau has done a wonderful job in keeping our people. Well, what does our people like to say? We're in the system. We're in the, we're in the system, which the system means the pit. So the so-called white man, he, his laws are always set up to perpetually keep the Israelites, all right, in the pit, all right? And that's what's going on. We're perpetually kept in the pit. So we can never achieve anything in this world. We'll never get anywhere. We're always going to be at the bottom. So that's part of the injuries, all right? White man, keeping us at the bottom, all right? Messing us up as a people, man, okay? So I'm going to read this here. Isaiah 24 and 4. Isaiah 24, verse 4, it says, it says, Isaiah 24, verse 4, The earth mourneth and fadeth away, the world languisheth and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. All right? So the earth mourneth, the earth's mourning right now. And it says, the earth mourneth and fadeth away, the world languisheth and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. Yeah, the earth is in mourning, man. Like I read in Proverbs 29, the earth is in a mourning state at the moment. The earth mourneth and fadeth away. And it's, it's, it is, it is going to fade away ultimately when the end comes, the destruction comes. All right. And we're going to, I'm going to, it's going to, it's going to read on, when we read on, it's going to tell you how. But we're, right now we're in a, it's fading, man. The earth's fading. It's in a mournful state. The world languisheth and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance and broken the everlasting covenant. Yeah, and that's these, these elites of Esau, right? They've transgressed the law of the Lord, man. They've, they've um, transgressed the laws of Yahweh Shai, all right? They've changed the ordinances, meaning they've changed the way of life of the scriptures, all right? Everything, the way of life of the scriptures, they've upside downed it. So that's why everything's fucked up today. The dynamics of men and women. You got men that don't know whether they should have been born a woman, so-called. The women that don't know whether women don't that want to be men. Everything's the dynamics of life is upside down, okay? Because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, and broken the everlasting covenant. They've broken the everlasting covenant of Yahweh. Therefore, have the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burned. And few men left, all right? And that's, that's meaning what? The nuclear missiles. Because of all this um, unrighteousness that the so-called white man set out there, the end of it is going to be what? Is the, the curse, all right? Which is going to be the nuclear missiles. The curse devours the earth, which is the nuclear missiles, the end game. And they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore, the inhabitants of the earth are burned and few men left. And the few that are going to be left is the elect, all right? Because... When the end comes, when the end of this world comes, the elect are going to be delivered. The elect of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai are going to um, 
you know, attain salvation, right? While the rest of these wicked people, these wicked ass people in this system, they're gonna meet their map, they're gonna meet their destruction. They're gonna get burned with the nukes, they're gonna get judgment. This judgment's gonna come upon them. Alright? While the elect, you know, the elect of Yahawashai, Lord willing, are gonna are gonna um you know be delivered in these days. So, you know, we're living in the the time of judgment. But the point I wanted to get is about the people mourning, man. Everyone on the earth is mourning, right? Because of these wicked devils in the power seat, man. Everyone's starving. Everyone's hungry. Everyone, no one's got money. People are just living, you know, from bread to bread, paycheck to paycheck, whatever it is. It's not easy. Why? Because the wicked is in the seat of authority, man. And that's why we're crying all the time, man. Anyway. But with that, I'm going to say all praises unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakhah, Kudash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the, to the hopeful elect, Akiam, that are teaching this word. Shalom, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakhah, Kudash. Shalom, Akiam, Shalom, Shalom.